Hi, this is David from Electric Teaching, and I'm going to show you how to determine the volume produced by rotating an area about a line. In this case, we're looking at rotating it about y equals 6, the purple line here. And then we're going to compare the shell versus washer method. I've already done a washer uh, method example in a previous video. So um, if you need uh, just the washer example, you can find that elsewhere. But this is a cool one because we're trying to rotate it about a line. So not just about an axis, y or x, but about a line which changes the way the radius is. And that's why I always, I always try to remind my students, carefully determine the outer radius and inner radius from the line rotating about. Okay, so from the line we're rotating about. All right, the area is, and I've already kind of drawn the, the rotation and everything, but the original area was bounded by the red line here, x squared, and the, oranges, the orange lines, 0, x equals 0, and y equal 4, g of x equal 4. So I took this area and spun it around to create a volume. So if we were to do the washer method, if we were to do the washer method, you need to see what the washer would look like. The washer would have an outside radius, an outside circle with an outside radius, kind of like the blue line I'm drawing right now. So this would be mainly the outside area, the outside area. Then there would be this inside radius that's clearly seen with both these light, lighter green circles here. So then the washer, just to emphasize this, the washer has a thickness, a horizontal thickness. That's a dx, a horizontal thickness, a delta. We are stacking these washers, infinite washers, infinitely dx small, infinite delta small. We are stacking these washers in this direction from the line equals 0 to wherever this intersection is, which I think is 2. You can see it's at 2. So that's the visual. So let's go ahead and get the inner radius. The inner radius is the inner radius is from the middle out to this edge, and it's consistently 2. You can see that. But I always like to remind my students to that it's a y coordinate, or it's based on a y coordinate off of a function. So in this case, it's 6, the line of 6, which goes all the way down all the way down, subtracting the function y equal 4. So it's subtracting the y coordinate. I always want to emphasize that you want to think about it, you know, in a sense that you are building this off of the y coordinate. I'm trying to erase something there real quick. So 6 is the whole length, vertical length, and we are subtracting off y equal 4 every time, y equal 4. That's why this radius will be 2. I mean, it's obviously, you can see it's 2. But that's the mathematical reasoning behind why it's always 2. And this is the inside radius. I'm going to use a lowercase r for that one. The outside radius, the outside radius. I'll use an uppercase r. Same idea. It has the full length of 6. Let's see, right here, if I was going right down on the axis, that would have the length of 6. But when I draw it in from maybe where this blue circle is, from here to, whoops, from here down to the edge of the circle, let me get that drawing in a little bit better. If I draw this into the edge of the circle here, you can see it's the whole line of 6 minus the y coordinate on that x squared parabola. So uh, double check it. If I drew it out to here, if I drew it out to here, then you could see then it would again be the whole line of 6 subtracting off the y coordinate. Again it's 6 minus the y coordinate, but in this case it's 6 minus the x squared. y is x squared from the, from the main function. And this is our outside radius. We will integrate. We will integrate a pi r squared minus a pi r squared. Don't forget the basics of the washer idea. We are subtracting the whole cir the the inside circle minus the whole outside circle, so that we are doing a pull the pi out. You can factor the pi out. 
the big R squared minus the little r squared. We are doing this with a thickness that's horizontal, so dx, a dx. Okay, and you can see that if you rotate this around a horizontal line in washer method, that's also another way to think about it. And we're going to be running this from, let's see, 0, and we're stacking them this way all the way to the 2 line. So the integral is the infinite infinite stacks. I want to double check that my radiuses that my radii make sense. So let's double check at 0, I should have a big radius of 6 at 0 at 0x, zero the big radius will be 6. It checks. And at 2, the big radius will be 2. And at 2, it would be 6 minus 4, so the big radius would be 2. So this seems to be holding true for my interval. So I'm stacking all these washers infinite high. It might be over explaining things, but I'd rather you understand this thoroughly. I didn't check the inner radius because it was obviously 2 the whole time. So the big radius is 6 minus x squared. And we are going to square it. And then the minus the little radius squared dx. Let's clean this up. So pi integral 0 to 2. Quickly multiply this out. That's 36 minus a 12x squared plus an x to the fourth minus the 4. That's from right there. Collecting like terms. Collecting like terms now. We've got integral 0 to 2 with the pi on the outside. 32 minus 12x squared plus x to the fourth dx. Okay, let's go ahead and get this integral now. The pi on the outside, the, integra the integrand, the, the uh, antiderivative of everything on the inside here. 32x minus 12 over 3x to the third. You're going to add 1, and as I tell my students, flip and multiply. Thus, the 3 downstairs. Okay, add 1, x to the fifth, flip and multiply, 1 fifth, x to the fifth. And we are running this from 0 to 2. I'm going to scroll this down a little bit. Okay, and now I have uh, the plug and chug part, the plug and chug part. I got pi on the outside, pi on the outside. 32, we're going to multiply times 2, okay, on this. And then, uh, excuse me, plug and chug time, uh, plug and chug x equal 2. And then we're going to subtract the plug and chug of 0. And you can see if the plug and chug of 0 is 0. So basically, it's the, the answer to this is the plug and chug of 2 on the equation, which is 32 times 2, 64. Okay, this is going to cancel here and leave a 4x cubed. So 2 cubed is 8 times 4 then is 32. So we're subtracting 32. And then we got plus a 2 to the fifth, which is 32, over 5. Plus a 32 over 5. Okay, and this cleans up to be pi times 64 minus 32 is 32. And 5 goes into 36 times, so this, this would be 6 and 2 fifths. 6 and 2 fifths, so that's an easy one to answer without a calculator. Please don't grab a calculator in these problems. You can do it. This is the part of the brain we're trying to strengthen during these problems as well as your visual ability. So please stay away from the calculator, even if the teacher allows it. You can check it, but try to do the calculations often without the calculator. And I get 38 and 2 fifths pi cubic units um, of volume here. And that's an example of how to do the washer. So I've already set up on how I'm going to do the shell method down below here. And we should get the exact same answer in part two of this little video sequence. I'm David from Electric Teaching. I hope that I have helped.